This video will be on the 48th annual Idaho Vintage Motorcycle and Bicycle Show for 2024. In this video I'm going to show you the trophy class winners for the motorcycles and the bicycles. In part two I'm going to show you the other uh, competitors at the show. So people, people on the bikes, come gather around the table and start gathering around. I'll give you some stats from this year's show. We had 15 American motorcycles. We had 78 Japanese. I think that's a new high. We had 33 British motorcycles. We had 28 European motorcycles. 10 scooter motorbikes for a total of 164 bikes this year at the show. Thanks everyone for bringing your bikes out. That was great. Great turnout. So we can't forget about the bicycles. We had 22 bicycles. Thanks for you guys coming out too. And the state's representative, uh, represented looks like Idaho, Oregon, Washington, Montana, Utah, Nevada, and don't forget California. Okay, here we go with the awards. If you hear your name called out, come grab your trophy. So first, for uh, Best American Bike, we have a 1942 Harley WLA owned by Wayne Martin. 1942 Harley WLA. Oh, it's got all the accoutrements with it. You got a helmet with it, glove, I mean, goggles, and blankets. And It's a real clean 1969 650 Kawasaki um, W something Commander 650 SS. This is kind of a copy of a BSA model that Kawasaki did. Then they did a um, copy of that copy when they made their uh, W650 uh, later on and W800. But this one is extremely sharp. Extremely sharp. Very nice. Very nice. For best European, we have a 1968 Java, 350 cc, quote unquote 653, owned by Jay Porter. Yeah. A 1968 Jawa 350. Don't see too many Jawas here in the United States. ISD qualifier. They had quite a reputation as being really rough and tough, tough bikes. At least from what I remember growing up. But we, we couldn't actually buy any because they were from the other side of the uh, iron iron curtain, I guess. Next, next for best British. This is a tough choice. We have a night. We ended up picking the 1963 Triumph Thunderbird 650, owned by Mark Weinberg.
No ham in that, Mark. No ham in that. Thanks, Mark. That, that was a beautiful, like, tough choice on that class. 1963 Triumph Thunderbird. I think this will probably do pretty well at the show, too. In our Cafe Racer class, we have a 1961 BSA DVD Gold Star 500cc owned by David Moore. <laughs> uh, beautiful little old school BSA. Signal cylinder. Love the brakes. <laughs> So which is better, the original or the new one? Hmm. Beautiful bike, David. Thank you. Thank you. Next for our best moped scooter, we have a 1980 cute LD 50cc owned by Chad. Can he? Chad? Jeremy's brother, Chad. That's what I know. That was an easy choice in that class, by the way, Chad. Looky there, there's Mr. Bill. I got a prize. I got I got some forty dollar breaks for ten bucks. I'm happy. You gonna do your little happy dance? Hey, can't wrap it. That's Rapid Roy, slightly embarrassed at Bill's happy dance. <laughs> Next, for our off-road class, we have a 1987 Honda CR125R, owned by Dean Gokin. <laughs> nice job, Dean. I've been seeing that bike get put together over the last four, eh, maybe eight weeks, as I get stuff getting powder coated. Good job, Dean. So next, we have a Best Survivor Unrestored category, and we pick the 1945 Indian Chief, uh, owned by Mike Webner, who's way back in the back. Great patina, great looking old survivor bike. We have two guys trying to clean that bike. Wow, thanks. That's nice, I appreciate it. Beautiful, wow. beautiful nice. survivor. Next in our period custom bobber class, we had a 1934 Norton Mays International owned by Jeff Church. That's our class winner. Is Jim here? Is he coming? He's coming. Oh, I got him. No bugs allowed, Jim. Oh, right. Okay. Thanks for being right. We're going to go to Best Bicycle. So, Best to Show in the Bicycle class was a 1941 Schwinn Ace, owned by Brian Marley. Brian, please. Best to Show in Bicycles? Yep. We have a few more bicycle categories before we get to our Best to Show. So, James, you got... The winner of the Best Lightweight Bicycle David Underwood had a lead before the presentation. He was riding a Phillips three-speed bike. We have three more bicycle categories before we get to our best of show. So James, we got uh, Tom Peterson with a pre-war balloon. Zach Gamolka with a custom and Reggie Edwards with a post-war balloon. Will all three of you please come forward and grab your ribbons for the bicycle in the bicycle class. I merge them all together, but take one at a time, sorry. <laughs> or whatever you guys want to do. It wasn't much of a hard choice. But for best of show, we have the 1929 Harley Davidson Model JD owned by Jay Chandler. 
Beautiful Harley sidecar rig here. Don't you think? It's got all the, got the gas pump and all things. It's really a nice, nice rig, Harrison. Hey. So the way this works is they'll divide all these bikes into the different categories, just like any kind of car show or anything. Then they let all these little red cups here or for people to vote on who they which bike they like the best. And then at the end they'll give them the trophy, one of the bigger trophies for people's choice. Then then the judges will make a determination of who wins on the other classes. So this is a basically a model JD three speed transmission uh, 1920 nine model 74 cubic inches i don't want to that is a metric <laughs> got to do a two-fister here in a minute so joe you also on the people choice award you guys put your tickets in the uh, joe also our uh joe also won that award People's Choice and Best of Show. Oh. Good job, man. Yeah. I think that's it. That's our, that's our. I wanted to thank the uh, Idaho Vintage Motorcycle Club for putting on this show. And you'll have to come in for part two. So we're going to show you some of the. There's probably another couple of dozen bikes that deserve awards. And we're going to show those in part two. Join me and my friends at Flat Cap Cafe Racer for riding and racing. Please subscribe.